A favorites list is a list of channels that you are particularly interested in. Favorite lists work different on different cable providers, so even though you may know how to do it on Comcast or whatever other um, cable provider you, you're used to, this is going to be a little bit different. AT&T allows you to have up to five different lists. And if I go over and pick, let's pick the sports list, it's short. I only have four, four channels in that list. That is how this works. You see that the name of the favorites list is up here. Uh, AT&T also uses these for the sneak peek function. And for the my multi view, my multi view is this little um, green bit button up here uh, for setting up multi views. So we're going to talk about that next. Viewers allows you to set up your own personal. Your own personal multi view with the channels that you select from your favorites. I got to the screen by pressing the green My Multi View button. And let's just see how this alert works. We're going to say OK. And we're selecting sports and saying OK. It's loading these. And we have one big or kind of small. One um, view over here, and we have one, two, three, uh, four channels over here. If I click on this, I could change over to gymnastics, women's gymnastics, or I could, I've highlighted this one now. I'm going to click OK, and I'm watching that, but I think I'd rather watch it. Women's gymnastics when I'm talking. So anyway, I'm not a multitasker. I don't have that gene. I don't want to watch four things at once. But I know that some of the people in my family do. So let's say you were watching um, March Madness and four games. And you want to watch them all at the same time so that you know the results at the same time. So you can fill in your brackets quicker. Quicker. Then you can switch between, you could set up four um, games, four games and watch them at the same time. UVerse has a quick peek function. If I press my up arrow on my remote, I see my favorites list. And I can go through it this way. I personally do not like to do this because it's too, um, the pictures are too small, the words are too small, I'm more of a word person, I'm better at picking that way. And there is, there is something strange about this. This will only work with the first favorite list. It will not work with it any of these and you can't change the order. So the first list is the one that's going to go up there. Now I, like I said, I don't care for those, but I've got little kids in my life that can't, still can't read and they're very good at navigating. If my grandchildren were in my life down here in Florida, I would erase all my um, favorites and recreate them after I put in a grandkid's um, favorites list just so that they could do that navigation. If I press the A button, it brings up my favorites list. If I press 
pick any one of these, it goes direct uh, to my guide, my abbreviated guide that only shows things that um, are on my favorites list and on channels that I haven't hidden in the guide. The other way to get in there, the other most reliable way to get in there is to press the menu button and come down to favorites which is the second one and again you get this menu. If I didn't have more than one uh, favorites list it would have just it would have skipped that screen and come directly to this one. Note your favorites name is on the top so you know which favorites list you're in. To set up a list you press the options button and right now the CC and the options button are the same thing. I'm going to press there and I've got add to favorites. If I click that it would just add it to um, that list. The other way to do this is the edit and add favorites. I pick my channels. Everything is un unchecked by default. Let's just see what I have on here. This is a big list. View checked. And there they are. And I can, um, let's just go down to this one. Shorter. Uh, there's not, not much checked here. View checked. That's it. I can just go along and click them. Oh, let's not click these because these wouldn't show up on my guide because they're not going. They're not on my guide, so they wouldn't show. So let's go to a thousand. And if I wanted to add this one, this one, this one, this one, and hit. Um, exit to TV. Oh, no, don't hit exit to TV. That's something I always do because I'm so used to it and then I lose my list. So I'm going to click save. And now if I went to favorites and sports, now I've got nine channels on there. So that's how you create a channels list. It's very useful.